So I've definitely talked about this movie before on this channel, but it's like the only gay Halloween horror movie that I know of anyway. So yeah. Hey there creepy peeps, my name is Nightmare Maven. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another horror education where I discuss and dissect different LGBTQ plus horror movies. It's almost Halloween and we have to talk about the apparently first openly gay slasher movie according to the internet. So Hellbent follows Jake and his friends who are out at a carnival on Halloween. They're being stalked by a masked killer who is specifically targeting gay men. And that's really it. It is a super straight, well not straight, forward plot. <laughs> and this was the director's um, Paul Etheridge Outs. Don't know if I said that right. Um, his first writing and directing like feature and he reportedly you know locked himself away to watch as many slasher movies as he could to prepare for the making of this movie and i feel like that's super apparent because the cast of characters are all out gay men that are shoehorned into these like typically like straight slasher tropes speaking of the cast of characters i did read somewhere um i don't know how true it is that the like main cast of characters are all straight men. Again, don't know if that's true or not. It's also super duper white. Like I don't even think I saw a person of color in like the background as an extra or if they were there, they were like way back. And according to an article on iHorror, the director claims that they set aside an entire day to audition actors of color and nobody showed apparently. That's anecdotal evidence though. So I take that with a healthy dose of skepticism but it points to this movie for it not being a whole big metaphor about AIDS. I think I've mentioned this before that it's obviously an important topic to talk about. I don't think we should stop talking about it, but it's not the only thing worth discussing and exploring in film when it comes to queer characters, especially queer men. That's always the metaphor that everybody goes to if there's like openly gay men in movies or if that's, you know, that or if they're the main characters. And at least for me, I feel like this movie doesn't have an intended deeper message. If we were covering this for like, it does this offend you, I'm sure I could definitely reach and find something. But I really get the impression that the intent of this movie was just meant to be like your typical slasher, but with openly gay characters. That's it. So in that sense, I feel like the movie is a fun watch because it just feels for the most part like light and funny and just like your typical kind of slasher cliches. And I've seen different criticisms of this movie that some people wish that they hadn't written these gay characters into straight or typically straight slasher character types in any sense i feel like it's fun to see queer characters i get like just existing it, even if that means just existing in a slasher movie which means they're probably mostly gonna die but that's what's expected in a slasher movie <laughs> as i mentioned before our cast of characters is very white and because our cast are all buff really muscular white dudes. The scope is a little, and by a little I mean a lot, narrow in terms of its depiction of queer men. And unfortunately we haven't had many, really if at all, uh, queer slasher movies to follow this, to like have any sort of chance at improvements, you know, growing from this point. <laughs> but it's not all bad, I suppose. We do have a small moment, I guess, of commentary. It's me reaching a little bit. The character Toby, who is a model, and he decides to go out in drag for Halloween, as he, according to him in the movie, wants to be wanted for what's inside also, not just because he's really really hot. <laughs> At one point in the movie he chases down the killer obviously not realizing he's the killer and you know shows off his bod in desperation 
after spending the entire evening being ignored and snubbed because he is in drag. And I feel like this point, if anything, <laughs> if there's any deeper meaning we can glean from this movie, I feel like that storyline definitely points out toxic masculinity that is present within the LGBTQ plus community and especially the like fetish fetish fetishization, I can never say that fucking word, <laughs> of like masculine male bodies. I know we've talked about this before, the male gaze on male bodies, which is, as I've stated in previous videos, a male fantasy, but it usually results in really buff, muscular dudes. And that's what we have here. But I feel like the most points need to be handed out for being a gay slasher, one, and having an entire gay couple, <laughs> 100% of a gay couple survive the movie. Even today, that's pretty fucking rare. How sad is that? If you haven't seen the movie before and you just wanted to like drop by and listen to the discussion on it, it's a little bit shallow of a slasher in my opinion, but I'm not mad at that. I feel like a lot of slashers tend to be pretty shallow, but it's fun. It's fun. I've gone back to it a few times now and rewatched it a couple of times and it's always entertaining, if nothing else. So if you've seen Hellbent, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Definitely if you know of any other gay slasher movies, queer slasher movies, please let me know because Google really, like, really doesn't have any answers. It kind of just gives me all of the LGBTQ plus horror that there is. <laughs> which is great, but they're not all slasher. So if anybody knows of any more, please let me know. Also, if you have any suggestions for future horror education videos, also let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here, become a creepy peep today. I will see you very soon with a new video. Until then, stay strange. Bye.